Hey guys, Android Review Pro here, and today we're going to be talking about how to move your Android applications to your external SD card. And basically the main reason for doing this is those devices that are shipped out and pre-installed with about 1 gigabyte or 512 megabytes of internal storage. And this could be a real nuisance to those who want to download large applications from the Android marketplace or a variety of applications and uh, large high-end games that can consume about 1 gigabyte or even 800 megabytes of internal storage and you know when you try to download these you're gonna get a error message of insufficient um, storage space from your internal and basically I'm gonna be showing you two ways around this of course your phone does have to be rooted if you don't know how to root your device and you can go ahead and check out my latest video on how to root uh, 4.12 Jollybean 4.1.2 Jollybean and uh, so we can go ahead and get started the first way of doing this is the easiest way of course it's a uh, ROM toolbox Lite. And uh, if you don't have this application, you can go ahead and download it from the Android Market or Google Play. Sorry about that. Um, you can go ahead and scroll down to Apps to SD. Well, well, once you're on Tools, configure Apps to SD. And you can just go ahead and click on SD card. What this does is it changes the uh, default storage location. So when you download an application from the uh, Google Play Store, it's going to, by default, basically uh, push it towards your uh, your external SD and install on there so you go ahead and click SD and it will go ahead and do that but for most devices this doesn't work as for mine um, this uh, this method didn't work so I had to go and find a, a different method and I came across directory bind as you can see on the top left hand screen of my device right here what this application does is it binds your two directories your internal and your external and this is going to allow you to uh, use any application or any game that you would want to uh, when you couldn't before your, your low internal storage. It basically manipulates your directories so it seems like you're using an application on your internal but actually it's coming from the external file directories and uh, it's just a great application. The only downside on this is um, that you are going to have to download the applications from the uh, from the web. Um, you can't download them from the from the Play Store just because it's still downloading internally. So you're gonna have to go to the web and find the applications. You could go on like APK Mania or any of those uh, links. All right, so to get started here, the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is go to your browser and go ahead and type in directory bind. And once you type that in, it's gonna be your first link that pops up. As you can see, go ahead and click on that. So once it's done loading, it's just going to show um, pretty much the author who created it and more information about the application. So just keep scrolling down until you find the links to the download, which are going to be right here. These are just updated links. You can download pretty much any one. They, are, they all work, but uh, you can go ahead and download the most uh, updated one. I just downloaded K. Name already exists. I already downloaded it and installed it. It's an easy install. Once you push OK, it's going to download. It takes like a second. It's only 74 kilobytes. Go ahead and package install or verify and install. So once it's installed, let's go ahead and click out and then go ahead and open up directory bind. And the first thing you want to do is root access. OK, go ahead and push on. Now, this is a crucial step right here. What we're going to want to do is create a directory in our external SD. Pretty much we're going to clone the same directory that's in our internal SD card. So if you go to your, your internal SD, you're going to notice that you have an Android folder as well as a data and an OBB folder. So this holds all the data to your applications. And this OBB is like uh, the large application data when you download like large data, data file games. So we're going to want to clone this file and create the exact same file on our S external SD card. So go to your external SD. We're going to create a new file and you're going to call it Android, capital A, Android, click done, save, go ahead and click in it. And what we're going to want to do is just create the same folders, OBB and data, as you can see right here, data and OBB. So create your data, data, done, save, and then OBB and done and save. All right, so once you have those two hooked up, this is where we use the directory bind to bind the two directories. 
So go ahead and go back to directory bind and click your menu button on your um, on your Android device and then we're going to click on add new entry. Now here we're just going to uh, bind the, the, the data paths from your external and your internal storage. So as you can see this is going to be your external, it already has it set out for you, it already has it laid out so we're going to long hold it, so long hold the screen and click on your Android and then click select and then we're going to go to the SD long hold and click on the Android and push select keep in mind that the top one is the one that you did create earlier this one right here so once we do that I'm going to go ahead and click add it's just going to bind the directories and then to check if they're bind correctly this should show a green um, a green light up on the uh, on the floppy disk icon so we're gonna go ahead and click bind checked and if it bind correctly okay there it is it showed it green so once the floppy disk icon turns green as you saw before that will give you the okay to go ahead and put your downloadable content inside your obb or data files that you created for your external sd card and if you don't know how to download applications from the browser already and if you want to know how just go ahead and leave them in the comments and if I get enough people wanting to know how to do it, um, I'll go ahead and make another video to this. This is just a whole different video in general. Um, I'll, I'll just show you where to download the applications and once you download them, how to put them in the correct um, directory files. That way you can play them. Um, so, so yeah, if you want to know how to do that, just go ahead and leave comments. Or if you have any comments in general regarding the video or anything at all, just go ahead and I'll answer them as soon as I can. And if you did like the video, please um, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be uploading new videos weekly from now on. I've just been really busy, so I haven't been able to upload anything new. And I'm sorry about that. But yeah, if you liked it, um, just please subscribe. And I will see you guys next video. Thanks. Just one more little tip before I go. When you download the applications from the browser, it's either going to be an OBB or an SD card file. And what you're going to want to do is go to your external SD click on your Android that you created and put them in the correct um, directory so if it's going to be a data com you're just going to put them in the com as you see just paste it in there or if it's an OBB file just put in the OBB uh, usually if you download a game it's going to be data and OBB so just put them in the correct order once you download them just extract them with WinRAR and when you get the files just put them in the correct location and it should work once you have your bind directed um, if it doesn't work just refresh your bind and it, it should end up working. If you have any problems with this, just comment. And like I said, I will make another video. So yeah. All right, guys. Bye.